the greatest American alive. Favorite story in the whole Bible. My favorite story in the Bible. There's a hole, and Jesus Christ comes to intervene on this hole. It said that as all the men is talking shit, Jesus leaned down, scribbled some in the dirt. As he was scribbling in the dirt, he said, which one of you niggas out here ain't no damn hoe? And as he was scribbling, all the feet went away. All the feet went away. Because we're all liars. We're all hoes. We all have desires. Tell the truth and get some power. Are you willing to do the hard shit? Are you willing to love people unconditionally, even when they break you? Are you willing to love people unconditionally? even when they break your heart. Today, the question of all questions for you, the greatest American alive, are you willing to do this work? Are you willing to do what's necessary to be of service? Are you going to be obedient? Do you want to manifest? How bad do you really want it? Yes? When I ain't got no other words on my tongue, I'm so thankful, I'm so thankful. When I ain't got no more words in my heart, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. When I ain't got no more energy in my body, I'm so thankful. When I ain't got no more energy in my body, I'm so thankful. When I ain't got no hope in my heart, I'm so thankful. When I don't have the courage to believe, I'm so thankful. When I don't have the courage to live my faith, I'm so thankful. This morning, the Almighty Creator told me, you got to get up and move those feet. It's 5 there in the morning. Light ain't even out yet. You hear me? The light ain't even out yet. Obedience, baby. Obedience. 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 How in the world are you going? Uh -huh. Yes, man. We finna rock like a motherfucker we are. Nigga, create that shit. Motherfucking do the work, nigga. Do the work, baby. Do the work, baby. Do the work, baby. This morning, I was told, move your feet. Go get it. And there was no specification. There was no specifics. I didn't ask what can I go get. It was an open slate. It was whatever you want. It was whatever you want. It was going to be great, man. Go get anything that you could possibly ask for in the whole entire world. It's yours. And what did I say? Yes. That's what I said. I said yes. But in order for me to say yes, I had to be obedient. I had to be obedient. I had to listen. You can't get nothing without being obedient. <laughs> and for some reason, people want to ask to manifest, but they don't want to do the work. How can you manifest if you ain't your best? Woo! Ask that question again. How can you manifest if you ain't your best? How can you manifest anything if you're not spiritually strong, physically strong, mentally strong? How in the world can you manifest anything? My creator told me to be obedient, and I did. I came out here looking for the moon. I was trying to find the moon, but ain't no moon out here. It's just me and my God. And so I might be asking for too many things sometimes. I say I want to see the moon, but most importantly, I want to talk to God. So when I'm out here by the water, by this life water that gives me strength, I can say I'm so thankful. Oh my goodness, almighty creator, I'm so thankful. Yes, yes, yes. The power of believing is the most unexplainable phenomenon in the history of human existence. When you take whatever it is and you put it in your mind and you choose to believe, all of a sudden everything changes. I have a personal question to ask you. Do you love yourself? And if you love yourself, how do you show that you love yourself? How do you treat yourself? Do you treat yourself good? Do you eat good? Do you think good? Do you talk good? Because as a human being, I am an amalgamation of everything I think, do, and say. That's it. As a human being, I'm simply an amalgamation of everything I think, everything I do, and everything that I say. Am I saying things that are going to make me powerful? Am I thinking things that are going to make me powerful? Do I believe? When my creator tells me to be obedient, do I be obedient? Do I do what my God told me to do? Yes. When the almighty creator tells you to move your feet, do you move your feet? Or do you stand still? In the Bible, there was a man named Jonah. I don't know if you remember Jonah, but Jonah tried to run away from God, and God sent a well after his ass, gobbled his ass up, spit him back out, and said, are you going to do what I asked you to do? And so you want to manifest, but you don't want to be obedient. How dare you? How dare you? And when I asked you if you love yourself, Project Day's out here walking down the trail of shit. 
stepping in shit, huh? <laughs> Why would anyone want to walk through shit? Why would anyone come down to a bayou where there's shit to try to get some life? Because fertilizer produces life. Shit produces life. Going through the hard shit in life, it grows you. You will grow as a human person. But you ain't willing to go, but you ain't willing to go through the shit. You ain't willing to be obedient. You ain't willing to bring your ass out here to the water and listen. You ain't willing to put yourself in position to manifest. I'm gonna ask you again. Do you love yourself? And if you love yourself, what do you do to show that you love yourself? These are important questions. Right now, men and women are looking for love, but they're trying to find healthy relationships. How in the world can you find a healthy relationship if you ain't healthy? How in the world can you possibly have a healthy relationship if you ain't healthy? How can you ask someone else to love you if you don't love yourself? How in the world can you ask someone to love you if you don't even love yourself? These are important questions, you hear me? <laughs> <laughs> it's like a, it's like a delusional pandemic or something. I don't want me, but I want somebody else to want me. How dare you? That's the most selfish thing in the whole entire planet. I don't love myself, but I want somebody else to love this shit. Man, grow up. Have some better thoughts. Be a better person. Be a better human being. Be of service. Stop asking somebody to love me and love somebody. Shit. Stop looking for somebody to come and love me and love somebody. Will you please show love today? Hell. Tell the truth and get some power. Can you be obedient? Because if you can't be obedient, you can't do nothing. You can't accomplish no goals. You can't be what God wanted you to be. Man, y'all making it hard out here. Y'all are turning something that's easy into something very difficult. Obey. Be of service. Do the work. And then get ready for all of your blessings. What's the blessing? more work as you become a better person as you get stronger then you have to be of more service you have to help more people then all you can do is sit back and say oh my goodness almighty creator i'm so thankful for being of service thank you for putting me in a position to help people you want something for nothing you selfish motherfucker you taker you parasite you goddamn leech if it doesn't apply let it fly but if you want god to love you then you better be of service you better give God your everything. You better give the universe your everything. You better give the people around you your everything. You better give yourself your everything. Do you believe? And if you believe, what are you doing to show that you believe? What kind of work are you doing? What kind of work are you doing? And if you say you clock in from a nine to five every day, no offense, there's dignity in every job. Are you negotiating for a better wage? Are you making sure that your work environment is conducive to having a wonderful life? Are you holding yourself accountable and responsible for the work that needs to be done? These are the questions that we must ask ourselves. I'm so thankful, I'm so thankful, I'm so thankful, I'm so undeserving. I'm so undeserving, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful, I'm so thankful, I'm so thankful. Almighty Creator, I'm so thankful. I'm thankful for the opportunity to wake up this morning. I'm thankful for the opportunity to raise my children. I'm thankful for the opportunity to help some people. I'm thankful for the opportunity to show love. I'm thankful for the opportunity to show myself love. I'm thankful for the opportunity to do this work. I'm so thankful, I'm so thankful, I'm so thankful. To live gratitude is to touch heaven. To live gratitude is to touch heaven and I'm so thankful I wanna to talk to God. I'm so thankful I wanna touch my Creator, I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. We came out here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to come do this work. It's uphill. Life is an uphill battle. We came out here to do this work. Are you ready? Are you willing to long suffer? Are you willing to long suffer? Are you willing to, are you willing to persevere through all the hard shit? Are you willing to persevere through all the hard shit. If you get knocked down, are you willing to climb back up the hill? Are you willing to go get the thing that you want? Are you willing to put forth the effort to do the work, to be the thing that you want to be? We ask people to love us. We ask God to love us, but we won't love ourselves. We won't do the work to show the world that we love ourselves. Attractive people attract people. 
It ain't got nothing to do with physical appearance. Do you do the work? Are you dependable? Can a person count on you? Do you have the magnetism to bring energy towards you? What is your gravitational pull? Do you blame other people? Or do you accept accountability? My bad. I fucked up. That's on me. I'll do better. I'll work harder. You're right. I'm sorry. I apologize. Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Most folks think the life is transactional. We only think the life is transactional because we won't do nothing to be of service. How may I be of service? How may I help you? What do you need? Now I don't want shit in return. Now I don't want shit in return. I have the ability to do it. I got the strength to do it. I got big broad shoulders. God's got me. Don't worry about that. I don't think destructively. I think constructively. I don't think scarcity. I think abundance. There's so much love in the world. I don't need no material possessions. I want to give the whole world all of my energy and this whole entire universe all there is is energy and impact and i want to use my energy to impact people in a way that they feel an abundance of motherfucking love an abundance of motherfucking love jesus christ washed feet what must i do jesus christ washed feet what must i do stop asking and start doing. Stop asking and start doing. Start saying I'm so grateful for everything, for everything, for all the hard shit, for all the good shit. I don't take any of it personally. It's all an experience for me to experience love, to get closer to my creator, to experience all the wonderful things the world has in store for me. But I don't know what's beautiful until I've seen ugly. I don't know what tastes good till I taste something fucked up. This is the truth about life. The contrast of life. Come out the shadows, come out the darkness, and come get some motherfucking light. Come get some light. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful for everything. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to come out here and sweat. I'm so thankful for the opportunity to talk to you. I'm so thankful. If you're thankful and you have gratitude for your experiences, share this video with everyone you know. Share this video with everyone. Tell them to give everything they have to the world around them. Tell them to sacrifice themselves to give the world abundance. Give a fuck, man. The world is so much bigger than us. The universe is so much bigger than us. Every time you have an opportunity to be of service, you better take it. Every time you have an opportunity to do something for someone else, you better, you better do it. You better do it. If you want someone to love you, you better love someone. If you want someone to love you, you better first love someone. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I wanted to beat the sunrise, and I did. I'll be home before the sun comes up. I will. I'm going to tell God I won in the day. God, I won today. Hey, God, I kicked your ass today. <laughs> I ain't even trying to brag. He'll get me tomorrow, you hear me? The almighty creator will get me tomorrow, but I kicked your ass today, though. Yeah, talk that talk that shit now, roll with it. Talk that shit now, roll with it. Walking like a dog, walking like a dog, walking like a dog, woo-ha, woo-ha. Tell the truth and get some motherfucking power, man. Tell the truth to get some power. Believe bigger, work harder, sacrifice more. What are you willing to sacrifice? What are you willing to give up? You want everything in the whole world, but you won't give nobody shit, you selfish motherfucker. Are you willing to sacrifice? Be a living ambassador of love. Every time I come by the water, I think about Henry David Thoreau and friends and the power of friendship. Are you a good friend? If you're a man, you're looking for some good male friends. Why do you need good male friends? If you got a girlfriend, guess what you got to do? You got to fight for her. You got to defend her. If you got a male friend, 
Man, you find Filios. Filios. Male love. Philadelphia. Filios. Male love. If you find a good male friend who's willing to fight for and die for you, oh my God, you found a good thing. A man who finds a friend finds a good thing. Henry David Thoreau's friend was Ralph Waldo Emerson. And that's such a blessing to have someone that cares about you. Mentorship, tutelage, to show you everything that I know because I don't want you to go through the same struggles. I don't want you to wade through the same shit. I want you to be in a better position. This is friendship. We need to be real friends. We need to be good friends. My friend is coming home from prison. I ain't talked to him in years, but I'm so thankful that the man is free. And I hope that God gives him every opportunity to come and be of service to this world. I ask God to give you every opportunity to be of service to this world. If you want to be of service for me, man, just share my videos with everyone you know. If you see a cash app on the screen, dollar sign PJDDY, man, say, Project Daddy, I'm thankful that you were able to go out there and to give me just a few words of encouragement. And me coming out here gave me all the encouragement in the world because I, just want, because I wanted to talk to you. I wanted to share with you my routine on how I get closer to my God. I wanted to share with you my ideas on how to manifest. The whole world has manifestation misconstrued. Some folks think they're supposed to get something for nothing, and that's not the way anything in the whole universe works. In the whole universe, there are two things, energy and impact. How will you use your energy to impact the world around you? That's it. Are you just gonna ask for shit, or are you gonna give the world everything? The greatest American alive. You are the greatest American alive. 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 The greatest American alive.